guys welcome to my channel and this is your girl spice today we are going to talk about the top five must try foods when in canada so why just top five well i must say that these are my five favorites so far and the canadian cuisine has a lot more to offer and what's good about this video today is I'm not just going to talk about these five foods, but I will also be eating them in front of you guys. So these are some of my favorites, Canadian cuisine or Canadian dishes, and I'm very excited to share them with you. And one more thing before I forget, this video is going to be a Taglish video, meaning Tagalog and English video. So I'll be speaking our Tagalog language in the Philippines and some English words too. So, simulan na natin guys! So, yung unang food is called poutine. Okay? So, poutine is a dish na may kasamang french fries, as you can see. My french fries with cheese curds and my brown gravy. What makes it special is this originate this originated from Quebec uh, in 1950s or late 1950s. So I know in the Philippines, meron tayong mga ganitong pagkain. So may French fries and yung iba mas gusto nila na gumamit ng na kumain ng French fries kasama yung gravy. Yung iba naman ketchup or mayonnaise. Pero ako I prefer gravy. So kaya sobrang favorite ko to kasi it has French fries, it has gravy and cheese. So any kinds of cheese I think pwede. So it could be regular cheese or mozzarella but this one is using cheese curds. So ayun, sobrang sarap niya. Um, sa Philippines, ang ginagawa natin, yung mga, mga tindahan sa sidewalk or sa kahit anong store na or restaurants, meron silang mga ginagawang almost similar to this one. So parang merong french fries, merong uh, gravy, or sometimes uh, cheese product, na uh, melted cheese. I'm sorry, it was cheese whiz. Um, may cheese whiz siya, tapos minsan nilalagyan ng hot dogs, or stoppings, or merong bacon bits, toppings. Pero walang exactly ganito na nakikita sa Philippines. So, this originated in Quebec, Canada in the late 1950s. So, let's try it. Mm. Yeah, so melted name cheese nya. Mm. Mm. It's really good. So kapag pumunta kayo dito sa Canada, um kahit sa restaurants or fast food chains, meron ito. Madali din siyang hanapin, guys. Next is doner meat on uh, pita bread. So doner is a spiced ground beef meat. So it originated from Greece. So they, they say that this is kind of a Greek food. I'd say it's sobrang sarap niya, malasa yung meat. Um, and it comes with a doner sauce, okay? And most of the people, I mean most of the time, Para sa mga taong kumakain ng gulay, um, sinasamahan nila to ng tomatoes and lettuce. So, the best uh, doner meat na natikman ko, na try ko dito sa Canada so far, is uh, from the Acropole Pizza. Um, it's a, a chain of pizza restaurants here in uh, Canada. Um, more on Nova Scotia side. Kain na na! Really good. Really good. Sobrang And now let's move on to my next favorite. This is called the Nanaimo Bars. And this is named after the Nanaimo City in uh, British Columbia on Vancouver Island. So this is a no-bake dessert. Sobrang dali lang siyang gawin. Uh, marami siyang ingredients but primarily kailangan mo ng uh, shredded coconut, chocolate, and crumbs. So if you if you want to Google it, 
um, makikita niyo dun yung lahat, yung kumpletong ingredients on how to make this. I bought this from Sobeys and actually some of the grocery stores here in Canada. Uh, meron sila nito. Uh, Sobeys is, uh, I would say, one of the biggest grocery stores here in Canada. So, yung Sobeys kasi nandyan lang sa kabilang kanto. So, nilakad ko lang kung punta ron. <laughs> sobrang, sobrang lapit at sobrang dali. Let's eat! Oops. Malambot yung middle layer niya. Sobrang lambot. Mm. Guys, hindi ko maubos na ito. I will probably only eat like this one. Here. Have some. Okay, guys, so ito na yung pangatlo. Um, this is called the pea meal bacon. So, pea meal bacon, uh, so dito lang siya mahanap sa Canada. So, kakaiba siya kasi it says na it's lean cut. This is a lean cut of cured pork loin, hand rolled in cornmeal and smoked. So, yun siya. Bacon siya. So, alam niyo yung usual or typical bacon, right? Yung haba tapos um, may fat layers. Pero ito, kakaiba siya. As you can see. It's different. Na-try ko na to. Um, masarap yung meat niya. Tender. Um, hindi mo na siya kailangang prituhin ng matagal. Um, kasi smoke na siya. So, cooked na siya. Uh, fully cooked. And, pero, pwede mo pa rin naman siyang Kung gusto mong initen or gusto mong crispy, um, pwede mo siyang ilagat lutuin sa uh, stove top or grilling pan. And uh, you can buy this at any grocery store. So, like for me, um, kagaya nung Nanaimo bars, I got this from Sobe store. And the fifth food is called Beaver Tails. Um, wala siya ngayon dito kasi nabibili lang siya sa Halifax. <laughs> and some other places in Canada, except dito sa Stellarton. Um, so we went to Halifax last weekend to watch Ashanti's concert. And dahil nandun na nga kami, we took the opportunity to go to the Lower Water Street to try, for the first time, Beaver Tails. And uh, it's basically a Canadian fried dough pastry and hand, individually hand-stretched to resemble Beaver's tail. Let's try it. Okay, so I got the s'mores and you got triple trip. Yeah. Yum. So this is it. Beaver tails. How's it? Good. Anything special? The taste? Not really. Nothing it's really. Nice that it's warm and the chocolate is melted and the butter. Okay. All right. I can't wait to try mine. Good, babe. So there you have it. Those are my top five must-try foods when in Canada. I hope you will be able to experience all these uh, good food, guys. So pag napunta kayo dito ng Canada, wag na wag niyong kakalimutan. The first one was poutine. Second, Donair. Third, Nanaimo bars. Fourth is the pea meal bacon. And the fifth one, beaver tails. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and if you liked it, please click the like button and if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel. So again, this is your Girl Spice. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next Friday. Bye!